is entitled Looking for the Happiness. Looking for the Happiness, Valentin <laughs> Thank you, Irina. I'm hungry a little, so I worked today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good evening, <coughs> dear ladies, dear friends. Um, my name is Valentine Sadezno, and those who know me, know me as a so funny boy. <laughs> but today I want to say you one part of my life, Another part. My speech today is looking for happiness. I wrote, I made this list for you. So after my speech, I will present you this list if you want. <laughs> so, have you ever answered? Have you ever put yourself a question, are you happy? One day I put this question for myself and I um, think that I <coughs> have an answer. Helen Keller said that when one door of happiness closes, another opens. But often we look so long at the closed door that we do not see the one which has been open for us. And I want to tell you a story. It was in the spring. But I don't remember if it was the last spring or the <laughs> sometimes some years ago. And um, but it was a very sunny and beautiful day. I worked in the park. <laughs> so there are many people there and all the benches are occupied. But I saw uh, one man who was sitting alone in the bench. So he was sitting and it was some place for me and I decided to sit down near him <coughs> and two people, unknown people, are sitting and there was silence between us. But suddenly he asked me, but I don't know if he asked to me, <laughs> but he asked, uh, son, are you happy? But uh, I think he made these um, words because I was um, a little sad and um, I was thinking about my life this day. And I, I was sure b b that I'm going in the right direction. But something was wrong. Something was bothering me. And this man asked me, are you happy? So I think about it a little and said, I don't know, I didn't uh, think about it. Then this man, who was about 70 years, said, if you have time, I want to tell you a story. I said, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I want to listen to you with pleasure. And uh, she said, <coughs> a boy was born and parents raised, um, raised him how they could. If a boy was doing something good, they present him something. If uh, the boy <coughs> did something wrong, they criticized him. And uh, one day, a boy, this boy, um, was 
И... Is known by school. What uh, parents uh, said them about school, and he put himself a question: w What will be there? So um, he won't walk to the school, and then was thirty kids with open eyes and open white mouth is looking for the teacher, but um, mm -hmm. happiness, what is looking for, this boy was looking for happiness in school. He didn't um, see that. And um, past some years, and he understand that in school, not happiness at all. And then parents said them him that uh, school it is only preparation for college. He graduates from school and enters the college. The first year of the college it was much fun. It was girls, drinks, and him. Uh, one day he decided that in college it. N no, nothing. Happiness, it is not in college. And uh, then uh, he graduates from the college and creates the family and creates the career. But still happiness he not found. Needs in <coughs> Family niche in career, and then he is 60, uh, 40 years, and he uh, looking for happiness in life, in sense of life. But he not found happiness till he was 70 years. When he was 70 years. He was looking for his life and memories, and he decided he was happy, but he not don't notice this. Remember it and be happy. <laughs>